What's up, guys? It's Caliber here. And the Beast. And I'm Joe. And today we are coming to talk about Trump's uh, buffoonery with the Queen. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the lead on this. Um, Trump went to meet the Queen in England. He uh, had her waiting, showed up late, and then he decides he wants to walk in front of her. Now, uh, anyone with a... Uh, the uh, utmost respect for a country's leader would not just would not do any of this. You'd show up on time. You would either walk beside him or sometimes even behind him. You don't walk ahead of them, and you definitely don't keep them waiting. Anybody else want to put their input in? No, those two things I totally agree with. I mean, as a as meeting her on her in her own country. This is him being a guest in a foreign land he should have been courteous and been there on time I don't know the circumstances I don't even know if he even had circumstances or even said why he was late um, but the fact that what she was actually outside waiting for him and I don't know the weather but I know the weather over here right now is pretty humid but let's 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 just get it out there it's like uh, she's she's kind of getting up there in age no offense love the queen showing love but i'm just saying it's probably not the best thing for her to be out there in the heat all by herself waiting for somebody who's not going to show up on time it's a little rude second of all i mean especially when they you know they did the whole knives you know with the whole guard and the and the uh you know the pleasantries and all that jazz um now the walking in front of thing i agree with that as well now, if he if it was over here in America and then he walked in front of her or whatever, it's like whatever. It's not it's not her land again. This is somebody. He is a guest in a foreign land, which means that he has to follow the customs of said land. Now, if he was, she would have been the one that would be in charge. She is a foreign dignitary. Well, I mean, he is the foreign dignitary coming over to there, so he has to do as such within the bounds of that, the rules of that land basically or the, the, the place he's visiting and do do I do I think that he did it on purpose I, I don't know um, I would say no only because by looking at the video he just looks like he's being himself as usual not just you know just thinking about himself in the in the fact of like oh okay well, I'm just gonna start walking I don't care what speed I have to go at I'm just gonna be Trump which whatever uh, I mean I, I was thinking about that. So she, so they were going to go, um, whatever it's called, they were going to um, inspect the guard, is what she invited him to do. She invited him along with her to inspect her, the, the, the royal guard. And um, so they're all lined up, and she gestured to him in the video for him to walk beside her. And what does he do? So she's here and he's here. She gestures for him to walk beside her, and he goes, more. <laughs> It's not even like he knows what he's looking for. No, it's right, yeah. Now, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice hat you got there, sir. It's a nice hat. <laughs> that, that, I don't know. Nice hat. Um, right. um, something funny you guys might not know is um, the queen often wears a brooch. Most of the time, she's wearing a brooch. Um, the Obamas gave her a brooch, actually. The same brooch she wore to meet Trump. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. But, um, I, I did leave one thing out, and that was the handshake, because the reason I left it out is because we're kind of iffy on that one. It looked like she extended her hand first. Yeah, I don't I don't really get that one. Uh, actually, I, I, I would... I'm actually on the on a different side than both of them on the whole thing honestly it's like I, I don't think that any American president should bow to a foreign dignitary to show because that bowing that constitutes as servitude or being below somebody and I think that I that's the reason she extended her hand because she knew that's what it means so I'm thinking that's what that's all about. I, I I don't I see a lot of hype on the internet right now about that situation. We're not subjects of Britain. I mean that's just what it is. I mean we're a completely different country. We 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 had a whole war over it and everything, and uh, we've seen how that turned out. 
we we, we got our independence so we're, we're, we're not a sovereign union we are we are we are allies for sure and i wouldn't have that any other way i'm just saying you as an ally you shake hands you don't show one dominance to another like sh i wouldn't expect her to bow or curtsy to trump because that would be that would show her submittance to him and i and that, you can't have that now as me like me as an american going over there yes i will bow to the queen because i'm me and i and i would suggest anybody who does that anyway that's out of pure uh thing but being that he is a the head of the country he's the one that is the head of the american country he can't honestly i think i would have been more outraged if he did only because that's what it does mean that just me i think I think the thing behind it wasn't, I don't think people thought about the fact that, you know, he's a leader because people don't really see Trump as a leader. It's the fact that, you know, you're presented with a monarch. Like, don't get me wrong, I completely, like, I, I don't have an issue with the handshake thing because watching the video, the queen extended her hand first. So, I don't have the same issue with people, but I do, like, I understand why some people would be annoyed because there are some other monarchs, but this is the longest reigning monarch and the most well known in the world. So I understand why some people would be like, oh, you're supposed to bow to the queen. But I get your point in that a leader shouldn't really bow to another leader. Right. I mean, like, regardless if they think that he's a leader or not, I mean, the point is she is the longest reigning monarch, but she is, again, is not our monarch. Yeah. No, there's no like malice in that at all. I'm just saying that just no, in a general know. statement. Um, again, I respect the royal family to the fullest. In fact, I'm a big fan. I love the whole like uh, I love the whole like hearing about them, watching their ceremonies and everything. I think it's an, I think they're uh, awesome. I like their uh, their involvement in their uh, the country and world affairs. Absolutely wonderful, but. Again, I, I, us being not part of the same like sovereign nation, like you know, we're not part of Great Britain, nor is she the monarch of this land. I, I, I believe that would have been a bigger issue if he did. In especially since everything, uh, the biggest thing about the whole bowing thing was supposed to be a, a ceremonial thing, right? If you take it in ceremonial reasons, it would be him ceremoniously tipping the the scale yeah. towards her so yeah. that's that's my thing yeah i know that's perfectly I mean, understandable i could get it if like britain just won a war for the state but that's not what happened they were just meeting like chill well, now, I... him being late though i mean fuck you dude you should have been like a half an hour early it doesn't matter oh. who you're you are not the most important person in the world Oh, I, I totally agree about that. I mean that that right there, that, like 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 I said like a minute ago, like I said before, it's you know I, I I believe in the whole. You have to she he has to follow the customs in the land, regardless if he is a subject or not. He had this is this is something about foreign policy. This is something that he has to you have to greet a leader appropriately. And treat them as such in their own territory. I mean, they're, they're, you're in her kingdom. I mean, I know America's not a kingdom, but if you came over to our country, I'm pretty sure he would want you to have the same respect about being on time, not like showing him up in certain situations and not freaking god dang doing other things that would be considered rude to a president. So I would not expect him to go to a, another foreign dignitary and do the exact thing that he wouldn't like himself. Just saying. And, you know, I'm almost willing to bet if it if the tables were flipped, he would throw an absolute bitch fit about it. It would have been tweeted. <laughs> I like how Beast just has like, he's like, yeah, it'd be tweeted. No, it would. And, you know, it's pretty fucking pathetic in my opinion. Now, I, I don't know if he said this earlier. He doesn't know the weather conditions. I believe it was, what, 90 degree weather? Something like that? I'm unaware. It was hot. I'm unaware, but I know it's. I know it was hot over here. So, I mean, I can only imagine 
if it was hot over here, it can't be that much different, especially being it was midday. I mean, it's got to be at least the height of the temperature that was going to get that day. Yeah. So her, and it was obviously sunny out because she had to stand underneath the uh, awning that they, you know, the tent basically that they erected for the meeting to take place, and she has to sit under that for the shade. So, I mean, again, she's nine, 90 years old, ninety two. She's ninety two years old. I can't, I can't remember her actual age, but. Not, not saying anything bad against that, but I mean, like, we, we do know that age takes a toll on people. That's just anybody. I mean, that's just, you you, you got to be respectful to the elderly, just let's put it that way. I mean, like, that's just being, I think that, I think I, I mentioned that is because I think it's ten times more rude because of that reason. I think that makes me more angry because she is an elder. and Right. But, you know, she's, she, she is an elder, and, you know, knowing how the weather was going to be and making her wait outside like that, I'm sorry. I, I I find if you're disrespectful to elderly people like that, I'm sorry. I, and I'm not, and I'm not dissing her age. I hope anybody doesn't get that. I'm just saying for me, it makes it 10 times worse. I know it does. No, I mean, like, that's the thing is what she wears in public is way different than what like a generic person would wear. She wears that dress with the gloves and the hat. Because that's what's expected of her. She can't go somewhere wearing shorts or a short dress or with no sleeves or something like that. She can't do that. Like so, she has what she has to wear, and it's she's ninety two, and it was I believe it was seventy something degrees, but still hot. Yeah, I mean it's it's still the same. It's just the point of, um, it's outside in the elements. I mean, I'm just. It, it's regardless of whatever t- temperature it was at this point. I mean, like... Regardless of anything, it's just rude, and he's representing your country. Right. So, and that, so in that I've, regard, your entire country was late to meet the Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll agree yeah. with you on that one. And, you know, honestly, I, I'm going to say this, and I don't care who thinks I'm a Trump hater. He's making a mockery of this country. You can say all you want. All, you guys can say all you want that. Oh, he's done this. He's done that. He's fucking us over, especially with the internet. Whenever something went down in the White House or anything like that, eh, you didn't see Obama tweeting about it. I will say this: He is the type of person. This has just turned into Trump bashing at this point. He's the type of person who would get us into another war. But seriously. Anyway, do we have anything else? I think it was extremely disrespectful. He doesn't have any regard for the queen's safety. And when I say the queen's safety, like her health and whatnot. And with her wearing all that stuff, I'm pretty sure that stuff gets hot. And he can't tell me that he wasn't hot because he was wearing a black fucking suit. And guess what attracts the sun? Black. I I don't have anything else on this. Anybody else? Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to S13 underscore the beast. And Tarot Storm. Anyways, guys, this is Storm Family signing out. America.